The lack of institutional clarity highlighted in a joint study of the Council of Europe and the European Union would perhaps be no such big problem if it weren't yet another issue used by Pristina to intimidate the Serbian population in which it resorts to arrests under secret indictments. We continue to be witness to the unfounded charges for war crimes that are arbitrarily pressed against Serbs. Equally disturbing is the postponement of the amnesty law that, incidentally, barely made it through Parliament, which makes the Serbs justifiably apprehensive that, pending its implementation, many more of them will be arrested. The Republic of Serbia takes this opportunity to call on ULEX, which is competent to establish responsibility for war crimes, to render its contribution to the solution of this issue by presenting the list of indicted Serbs without interference in individual court proceedings. As on previous occasions, I would like to reiterate the importance of full and effective investigation of the allegations of killing people for the purpose of organ trafficking. The Republic of Serbia is ready to continue its cooperation with the EULEX investigation team in order to establish the truth and to achieve justice for the victims as soon as possible. Madam President, in conclusion, I cannot but point out that intimidation and discouragement of returns may be much more subtle as is, for instance, the denial of the history of an entire people. As it happens, we continue to witness the attempts made within UNESCO to rename the cultural and historical heritage of the Serbs in Kosovo and Metohija as the Kosovo heritage. 